I felt really confident in my body because I'm like, I just gave birth. Like, fucking look at me. I mm. like, I'm awesome. And like, Ned sort of felt the same way. We we were just like, I just made a baby <laughs> with my balls. <laughs> 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 yes, you did, Ned. That's you. <laughs> First up, mom, dad, skip this one. Just don't even listen to it. Actually, if you're related to us at all, and you don't want to hear about our sex life, just skip it. So you were talking about the sex dream you had? Are pregnancy sex dreams like a thing? They are a thing. They are absolutely a thing. Uh, this is something that pregnant women do not talk about, but uh, doctors know that this happens. And having gone through it before, I I knew that this was coming. Like, like was I in it though? I don't remember. Sort of like <laughs> I honestly don't remember general, if you were in it. Oh, okay. All right. Cool, 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 cool. My bladder is about the size of a tangerine. Mm-hmm. And not even was that like the sex part? No, you were just thinking. But it has to do with it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, like I what I mean the the only part that's the sex part is that I woke up and had to pee really bad, but I thought that I was like having an orgasm. Oh, oh, I see. So it was a urine induced sex <laughs> dream. <laughs> it was no. because I had to pee so bad. Wow. Yeah. And and because I have I am on pelvic rest and so I have when was I diagnosed with a short cervix? Yeah. Uh and so you haven't been able to have an orgasm in months. Months. I I'm I'm like I the doctor has told me if I have an orgasm that it will be a very very bad thing because it could put me into labor. Welcome to Baby Steps. You're here listening to the sex episode. And we've got Hi, some Mom. very <laughs> special guests here. We've got Lauren and Jeremy of the Wild Till Nine <laughs> podcast. They called in backup. Oh my God. Also, like that oh, whole what? intro, my jaw has been on the floor since the first <laughs> moment of that story. This is why we brought in Lauren and Jeremy, yeah. everybody. So, <laughs> because uh, we love them to death and because I know you're going to have questions. Ariel, as a short cervix, we're trying to keep the baby in there. And so once we found that out, sex has been banned sex is from banned. our household. For nine months? Well, no, no. not not a full nine months. I mean, we found out that I had a short cervix. It was probably, gosh, how long, how far along were we? Maybe. And not just- oh, it was the 20-week scan. So so you get a, a big um, ultrasound at 20 you guys weeks. Are looking at us terrified. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, I know. For the audio only it's listeners, been rough. they're missing something. <laughs> I know, our faces right now. I'm having like, to take my jaw up and put it back. <laughs> yes, so halfway halfway into your pregnancy, you get a, um, a a big ultrasound where they spend like an hour looking at every part of the baby. And, you know, they look at the brain and they look at the heart and you really get to see, that's when you get all the pictures and everything. It's a really, really big deal. Um, but they also found out at that point that I had a short cervix. And so the cervix is uh, is like the part that holds the baby in. And it's also the part that when you go into labor, it stretches like a like a rubber band. Um, and that's when people say that you're 10 centimeters dilated. Oh, I it's see. your cervix that right now it's about, well, in a normal pregnant woman, it's about five centimeters. Uh, and it's holding the baby in there uh, between your uterus and your vagina. So the doctor says if you have an orgasm, the the baby might come early. So it sounds like it's not that you can't have sex. You just can't have good sex. Yeah. I guess that Ned, is technically that's... what what it means. <laughs> Ned's so, good to go. <laughs> Ned's good. Ned's fine. <laughs> that's another thing is that male semen. So Wait, what? I didn't know this. Yeah, there's there's like there's like lubricating properties in it that So it's about orgasm and it's also about penetration and then it's also about my semen. So yep. You can have some a real real nice case of blue balls. That sounds like the best option right now that we have. The best option. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I, opposed to having a baby by this accident. This sounds like that's a true. sentence they should impose on people that did something wrong. I know. Like well, that's that's wow. I mean, there are many options other than penetration, obviously. Right. So we've been very creative. We've been getting creative. <laughs> but 
we can't get that creative because you're not allowed to have an orgasm. That's right. And it's, I mean, you know, I mean, if that, if it's been a while, like it starts getting a little, a little gust of wind goes by and you're like, woo! It's yeah. true. It's so, true. Like something blows my skirt and I'm like, like woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. now Ariel's been having these dreams I where probably it once starts a week. to be like a sex dream. Okay, well, actually, okay, the way it goes, I, I, I know physically exactly how this is happening because so right now I have like double the blood in my body um, because just, just to like feed the baby and make Got sure it. that everything's going. So that means everything's a lot more sensitive. Everything's a lot more sensitive. And my bladder is the size so of, if we were of to like be a sex. small plum. And so if I don't, like empty my bladder all the time then I, it, and everything is connected down there and so i have to pee really bad plus it's really sensitive so in the middle of the night my body's like oh okay this is interesting and like <laughs> i i seriously i haven't had an orgasm in weeks and so so my body's like okay okay well maybe and then i wake up and i'm like no no they can't don't do it so you're not allowed to have an orgasm for another uh, six weeks six weeks six, six weeks. weeks which actually oh, no. I, you're and you're, we're you're six weeks at me like into that right it right now but i think i can do six weeks at this point i'm like we got six weeks to go and then we're fine but once six weeks hits we'll be doing um Home induction. Uh, <laughs> I, I, right, so at five Basically, weeks and six days. Even if she's not going into labor, once she's allowed to go into labor. Right. Send that in. Then, you know. Literally. Right. Uh, just, just, I mean. Doctor I know. Order. Just, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dose of Ned uh, You know, I, I hear a uh, uh, semen has certain properties of labor inducing. Right, right. I mean, uh, you know, the idea is to keep him in there as long as possible. For 40 weeks? Uh, you know, like he's supposed to stay in there until 40 weeks. We're just saying 36 weeks because that's when Wes was born. Right, Wes was early. And that's mm -hmm. probably when I'll be going into labor anyway. And, you know, if it's about the same time that we just can't stand it anymore, <laughs> then, you know, for sure, hon. All right. Yeah. All right. Wait, yeah. so this is not something you guys had last time. Then. No, this is, this is not a oh. you know standard pregnancy situation. Got it. Just, you, although just pelvic, gives you rest, to, pelvic rest is, is fairly very common. common. Yeah, fairly common. Yeah, yeah. And is there a way for us to find out before uh, hand whether you're going to have that or not, or is that just a nope? You mean no. like take a take it's, a tongue swab? Yeah, to, yeah, 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 yeah. Have some, it, I don't think so. It's no. mystery box. No, it's no, a no. mystery box. Mystery box. You'll, you'll find out. You I got to be honest. That sucks. Sucks. That sucks. It does suck. Yeah. It does. But you know, we're getting creative. Yeah. That's Care to love. Elaborate? That Thank is you. love right there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, I mean, if this is me, if I was on an orgasm strike, I would be like, babe, we're in this together. This is half yours. Oh, we're that's orgasm strike oh, together. That's, that's rough. Right. It's <laughs> that's man. rough. I, I got like a, I got a really nice. Worse. I got a really nice shoulder massage last night. I'm, like that was great. That's, yeah. No, that's no not, orgasm that's, needed. That's not an orgasm. <laughs> but you know, for a for a but like, for a pregnant if woman, if you're not a, allowed to, is about as close as you can get. It's about as close as you're gonna get. Well, okay. So, question then, mm -hmm. in comparison to the first uh -huh. pregnancy, uh -huh. how often are you? I mean, I hear that women get way way more horny. Yeah. The, some yeah. some can the blood, some. The blood every Cause, every cause the woman blood every woman is different. If, if there's right. like you know if your uh, genitals are flush with blood mm -hmm. makes everything a lot more sensitive. It right. does. So that's where the like pregnancy leads to added horniness comes from. Because it's it's just that actually, so many like a lot of people think that pregnant women it's sex is sort of off limits just because they're pregnant, you know. And there are actually some men who think that like. If you do have penetrative sex, that like you're gonna poke the you're baby. gonna poke the baby. No, I mean, that's you know like who? Yahoo Answers. Seth Rogen. What movie is that when they're having sex and she's pregnant and <laughs> he's like, hurt the baby. I feel like I'm poking the baby in the head, and I feel like I. <laughs> that I is a, and now, it's a myth. Yeah. It's a myth. That's such a myth. Like, I mean, it's not not a myth in terms of how you think about it. I've you know there's definitely been one or two times where I'm like, oh, I hope I'm not poking the baby in the head. You know, you got to well, tell yourself. To be fair, Wes turned out fine. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. So even if you are. like Mom, you, can, you can log off now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I would actually say, so 
that is a myth. There's plenty of space in between where the baby is and there's the cervix. Guess what? The, mm -hmm. Like wh what we were talking about before, that like five inches of, you know, so what you're actually probably hitting is the cervix. Right. But sex actually for a woman during pregnancy is way better. Way better. Because you're way more sensitive. There's like a 150% chance that you will have a good orgasm just because of the like the blood flow down there. Works 150% of the time, I was gonna say. every time. <laughs> <You> can't wait. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Um, and also, I mean, there's the whole like sexy part of conceiving. I mean, let's walk that back. That's, sure. I, yeah. I am so that is such a foreign concept. Well, because like I feel like you spend all of your teen years and early twenties mm -hmm. until you want a baby, being trying like not trying not to right. conceive. Well, you yeah. guys are probably right now in your sex life like. That's, would probably rather not that's the, have a baby. Yeah, that's the thing we're not going for. And I feel <laughs> like I have, um, what was my, how did I, I put it? Um, I wore two condoms and cut. And oh yeah, so Jeremy's thing is that when he was single <laughs> and going through his like little hoe phase is that he would wear two condoms and come in the next zip code <laughs> to be super safe. <laughs> yeah. And also just like a general note, I'm pretty sure it's actually less safe to wear two Absolutely. condoms. He didn't actually wear yeah, two condoms, yeah. but like right, the right. level of FYI safety precautions being very right. safe. that right, was right, going right. on. So that. just one condom. We actually were watching a show last night and uh, he was filling the condom with water afterwards to make sure there's no holes in it. I had never seen that before. I I've never even considered that. Right. I've, I've, I'm aware of it as like a, a, a funny thing. like water balloon prank type of thing, but no, not no, as like a, a this was like a you know quality situation. control of yeah. condom <laughs> type of thing. <laughs> yeah. Fascinating. So I, that's a foreign foreign concept to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. So after trying to have a baby, right? right. So when you're conceiving, yeah. do you like? Lay there and just stay horizontal for a little bit to to increase <laughs> or like chances flip up on on your head. Or, yeah, or go something. upside down. Yeah, like, what's, do you what's hold the, ankles? How does yeah. it work? Uh, Post sex. Of I course. mean, we've certainly considered it before. Yeah, but no. I think that's that, a myth. That's a myth. Uh, that's a myth. We can Google it, but I'm pretty sure that one is like okay. Really so actually okay, help, so yeah. so the way the way that like conceiving works is when when you <laughs> when you finally when a decide man and a woman love let me very let much. me just tell you about how okay honey honey the way yeah when a man and a woman love each other very very much. Uh, sometimes no. Okay, um, I'm not kidding, that was my sex talk with my mother. <laughs> I, I don't know when I found out about sex. That was the talk. <laughs> we actually on uh, you can sit with us. I talked about how my parents gave me the sex talk, which was they just handed me um, clam the cave bear. Have you guys ever? Nope. The, okay, the we're what? not gonna go into. Okay, that. no, but I yeah, listened like a, to like a... the last episode of You Can Sit With Us, and I'm smutty very YA intrigued. Novel. It's my Ooh. smutty YA novel. I know. But okay, after you said though that there's just grunting in the movie, because I was like, oh, maybe I'll watch the movie instead of the book edition. Mm. But when you said there's no dialogue and they're just grunting at each other, I was like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think those voiceover actors good. were? Like, it's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> mm, mm. That's what I pictured. That's what I pictured. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyways, okay, so when so, you can see Okay, so 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 when you want to have a baby, you have to like track your schedule. Um, but if you have a little bit of time and you don't actually need to track your schedule, this is something that Rachel and I were talking about. The best way to conceive a baby is just to have sex every day. Every single day. Just make sure that there is plenty of like just Plenty of semen going shooting in your there. shot, literally. You're just, you're just, you're uh, just making sure. You're just making sure that like that that the softballs are are just you know, going. You this know, this is a situation where more chefs in the kitchen helps you make a meat roast. Um, I'm I, sorry. A yeah, meat that one roast. translates. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's I would say conceiving and like when you're first dating, those are like the two times when you're having sex the most in your relationship. You're just like super infatuated, right? Or you're just like. Or you just, you just feel a, trying to make a, a deep fear. responsibility to mm, to, to, to get it done. The human race, sure, yeah. yeah. To populate the human race. <laughs> so we're. I'm 27. Jeremy's 28. My mm -hmm. mom on my birthday every year reminds me that my eggs are dying no. every <gasps> oh, single that's year. Stop it! No. But but okay. So in her defense, she is very transparent in that she wants a grandchild for her own selfish enjoyment. You know what right. I mean? Like she wants mm -hmm. a grandchild to be a grandparent. It's not necessarily that she thinks that like all grandparents feel our that way. lifestyle. 
style is, you know, at the right time and place. Not even remotely conducive. No, 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 no. So she's she's very transparent that it's for her and not for us. Um, but yeah, she would. She she always told me that she. Okay, like not not actually, mom. If you're listening, I know this is not serious, and I'm not damaged by it. But she said you have <laughs> kids to have grandkids. <laughs> you know, well. at, at this point in in like your mom's life, that is probably how she feels. She's like, where is that yeah. little smush? Right. Yeah. Well, you I know? also think that that their generation to a degree was a little bit more of, oh, well, you you can afford it. You right? you do right. have the means to do it. So Now's a good not? time. Right. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah. I mean, the second that I told my parents that I was pregnant, they did not uh, pressure us at all. They didn't even pressure us to get married. They were like, are you sure you're ready to get married? <laughs> are you like, sure so you're ready to have a kid? Huh? Right. Really? Really? You? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> but like the second that I told them that I was pregnant... I th they just they turned into completely different people. They were like, oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, no, I think my parents were born to be grandparents. I mean, I think my mom <laughs> would be very excited, but also like I was adopted. So I feel like she's Why very much more on like the careful side uh -huh. of, of whenever you're ready. Mm -hmm. There's uh -huh. no rush. No Ma pressure from Donna. Yeah, no no pressure from Donna. Gail, on the other hand, is yeah, Donna oh, and Gail. Yeah, yeah. Donna and Gail. Ours <laughs> 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 are yeah. Susan and Kathy. Wow. Susan and Kathy. <laughs> Sounds like a talk show. They would have I one know. hell of a book club. <laughs> right, right. They yeah. would have, yeah. yeah. Donna, Gail, Susan, and Kathy. I can just see just the, oh, who brought the rosé tonight? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been my mom. Right. Always. <laughs> so what is the biggest difference, and this is a vague question, and answer it as, as descriptive or as vague as you'd like. What's the biggest difference between pregnancy one and two? Oh, good question. Besides no orgasms. Besides no orgasms, yeah. Right. From the like sex life per perspective, uh, from sex life, but also something bigger as well. Like obviously the sex, well, to a degree, I think the sex life perspective is almost kind of defined by the fact that you've got a short cervix. So that kind of yeah. just says right. uh, back rubs. That's a big and one. Ned, head on over there with that. Um, <laughs> but just from the first to second, what's the biggest change and shift that you feel like is so present? Um, I feel a lot more comfortable with this one. Comfortable? Yeah, I just I. Yeah, we're like excited and ready for it. Yeah. Whereas the first one, you're excited, but you don't feel ready. And you're a little nervous about what's going to happen because you know it's going to be the biggest life change ever. And like, I think the second one, who knows? Maybe I'm just, I don't even know what I'm in for, but I'm like, you don't remember. How much more difficult can it be? <laughs> like, how much, how different? I, but maybe it, our producer, Rachel, who has twins, is like, you don't know what you you're don't even I can't wait for them to run this clip back. How difficult could it be? Oh, and then just yeah. be a tornado Chaos. going through the living room. Yeah. But like, we've already made all the lifestyle adjustments that right. you were considering and thinking like, well, that's going to be difficult. And it well, is, but okay. here we are. It's already, we've already seen how it is different. Because when we went to conceive the second one, we could not have sex every day. Mm. It's not possible with right. a toddler. Right. Mm -hmm. like, oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yeah. And so it took longer this time. Oh, that's yeah. That's that's a big thing. Wait, sex after. I have a digression, and it's so important that we get to it right now before I forget. <laughs> you got it. Sex with the baby in the room mm. allowed? That is something that we <sighs> argued about when we first had Wes. Oh, I can't wait to hear about it then. <laughs> because, <laughs> because. When you have a newborn, the recommendation is that you is that, that the newborn sleeps with you for six months. Oh, and in the bed? <laughs> well, or usually in, in like room. a bassinet. Yeah, in, just, okay. just in the bed, just like in the room. Yeah. yeah, I mean, different people are different. A lot of people do sleep <laughs> with them in the bed. We had them in a bassinet. A, yeah. You know, Lauren would kick like way too hard know. to have the child in the bed. So. I would, that thing would be tough. dead. So especially, yeah. especially with like a fresh, fresh newborn. Like they they can't move over or anything like that. So it's safer to have them in like a, a bassinet. Right. Um, but to each his own. And um, and so I remember. So for the first six weeks after labor, we, you're kind of you don't really have doctor's approval to have sex yet because you're still you're still healing and you know you, there's been a, a fair amount of trauma down there and so for the first six weeks you're really not allowed to do anything but yeah. then we like you might have like stitches or you right. know so you're but healing. then but then we went to our six week doctor's appointment and my doctor gave us the the go ahead. She was like. Green light, baby! <laughs> and I swear, I swear, Go Ned, for it, kids. Ned was like a football player. He was like, yes! <laughs> do this! <laughs> you hear the cheering. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> she yeah. said yes! Just like, like, excuse me for a second. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and is six weeks the same for natural C-section? Is it all? It really, it really depends. You know, okay. it's it's like we we got a clean bill of health it's from from our doctor. Pretty at six similar, weeks, but, but maybe there might know. be situations where there's like a longer healing time, right? Yeah, if, or like you, you know, know, if it's like a very complex situation. Surgery. Our favorite word. A little situational. Mm -hmm. Situational, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but six, weeks, six weeks, Ned was back in the game. Starting five, right mm -hmm. there. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and Ned was all starting five. And so, yeah. you know, here we are. We we go home with our, our you know, six-week-old baby, and we put him to sleep in his little bassinet, and Ned sort of turns to me, mm -hmm. and I'm... So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, so it's go time. You're interested in the... Uh, right? Yeah, it's just, it's it's back, Ned's in lingerie. You know, I, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I sort of looking at him like, but... The baby, the baby right is there. right there. He could wake up at any second. I was wondering who's going to be on which side of this. Wait, okay, mm. wait. So is it is it that you don't want to wake the baby up because you're happy that they're sleeping, or you don't want to make eye contact by accident with the baby <laughs> and have it just be like? Well, if you make eye contact, you got to get rid of the baby. Okay, you gotta go. It's gotta go. Yeah. When you guys uh, no, first got when, when you guys first got your dog, uh huh. Did you want to have sex in front of your dog? So he sleeps in a crate with a blanket over top. He's like a very like mm. den animal. So he's in the room, but he's- So sex is usually after crate time? Co yeah, yeah. So Moose goes into we his crate. We do that sometimes, but sometimes it's the dog is on the bed and now it can be, it can be oh, a real Oh my God, no, literally issue. if Moose licked <laughs> Jeremy's butt by accident, it'd be over, game over. I have to leave <laughs> He'd have does. to move out. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know Moose is Somebody's leaving. out. So I'd Somebody's have to leave. Out. Somebody's gotta go, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we just don't even take any chances with that. So Moose goes into his crate, we tuck him in, and um, we turn I the mean, Phillips Hue lights yeah. on, and we that's we it. used yeah. to be like that too. We used to be like that too, where we would put Bean in his crate, right? And and we were like, all right, he's safe, we're safe. But now, I mean, things are a little bit different, and you know, you can't always say like, go in your crate, Bean. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he's just laying on the bed, and it's oh, like, all right, like, we have ten minutes, let's do this. You, you we've we've had started having sex a lot earlier in the evening because like <laughs> you 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 don't you don't have the the energy to, uh, to <laughs> like. Like once nine thirty rolls around, you're really tired. Yeah, you're till nine, we get it. Yeah, yeah. Well, then, till nine. Yeah, then, well, till nine. Then Ned's like, you know, like, eh? It kind of becomes like a. Uh. <laughs> 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 and, and I'm kind of like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Maybe? I, it sounds like after this um, shortage that we've been going through the last maybe uh -huh. five, ten, six weeks. Uh -huh. By the time you're on the other side of it, however, this might be different. We'll see. I mean. My body will be different too. Like things will be different. So it's really just about how how we feel. Yeah. The situation. I don't know if I can have sex with my kid in the room. I don't think I can either. I don't know. It it was really really difficult for me. I don't what? even remember. I don't even remember. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> he sleeps through so much. He does. Newborns sleep through plus, everything. Plus, like if he wakes up, you're gonna stop. <laughs> Right, and That's so Ariel right. has to be like, Ned, give the boob back. It's time for Wes. <laughs> yeah. Wes's is time. Is share the boob. These do not belong that, to you right that now. Was, that was hard for me. Yeah, Got it. To Let's realize to share. The, the boobies are no longer, mm -hmm. no longer, you know, a it's thing for the of, two of you. They're kind of off limits. Yeah. They're, once you're they're very day. tender. Right. They're, it's like, they're actually functional. Uh, <laughs> Very I've never functional. thought about that. Right. See? Equipment. Right. Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they're now equipment. functional equipment. Right. And, and like generally, if you touch them, they it's start like, to ow. function. You know, it's it, the on button. That's yeah. going to be difficult. It's pretty difficult. That's going to be difficult. Yeah. It's but a, they are way bigger. Well, so <laughs> less you know, difficult. The, there is the that. starting point that we're working with over here is uh, like, I just don't know if I like, I think, I don't know. I, well, you know, just whatever, wh whatever, wherever you're at. In the boob department, <laughs> they they do get bigger. I would say about double. So, uh, that yeah. that could be a bad thing, right? So, for but many, do you, many women? But. I just feel like I think you would be sad once the yeah, pregnancy's over and they go back down to normal. Well, also, oh, I was really sad too. Yeah, I think we were all we all just we, we, we all sort of we mourned, mourned, mourned the, the yeah. ceremony. Yeah. How's it work? Yeah. I see. I just, yeah, yeah. Uh, we yeah. all wrote down something that <laughs> something are, that you enjoyed that about reminded, the time together. Yeah, something yeah. that we loved about the boobies. I think they're off limits when they're larger too. That's that's tough. That's tough. It's kind of a yeah. It's like a double-edged. Uh... But I okay. So so we talked about the sex, you know, during pregnancy, the sex after pregnancy, you know. But like, there's there's a whole different like level to sex when you have a kid or when you're like, you know, with the breastfeeding and and all the stuff that you've been through. It it's like it's so much more important, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, and like there's you like I felt really confident in my body because I'm like I just gave 
birth like fucking look at me i mm. like i'm awesome and like ned sort of felt the same way we, we were just like i just made a baby <laughs> with my balls <laughs> <laughs> yes you did ned you, that's you <laughs> good for you yeah you did it no one could take that away uh, from you you did it you did a really good job thank you thank you yeah sex isn't just about like the physicality of it anymore it's like um a you're so tired like you're so exhausted and and just like not connecting with your spouse that it becomes almost like a necessity yeah i think it, it in those early days where you're not sleeping very much and you have a lot of new responsibilities and you're adjusting it would probably be very easy to let your sex life fall by the wayside but you know, I think it's like really important to maintain that sense of intimacy and mm -hmm. uh, sense of connecting as a couple. And that is, you know, I feel like we almost had to like, like, like make like a scheduled like. I we're was gonna, just gonna say send a calendar. We're gonna totally. have sex yeah. at this time, whether yeah. we're feeling sexy or not. We're just gonna like right. make it happen. And well, then also because like that that first time it. that you have sex after labor. I, for me, at least, mm -hmm. it was, and and probably for you too, because because you saw what my body went through, you know. Oh, yeah. So so it's like it's <laughs> you're like. <laughs> now, which side of the which side of the thing were you on the? Oh, that we didn't have a barrier. There was no barrier. Oh, there's no barrier. No, no, no. No, yeah. Oh, you just go. Oh, you I just, saw, you just, it. Oh, you saw the whole thing. I saw everything. I don't know if Jeremy could do that. I really don't. I'm I'm really not confident that he would like a not pass out or b um sprint. I appreciate these low expectations. Yeah, the expectations <laughs> are real low. Like I'm, I'm gonna fly my parents out for sure, just in that case. Means, yeah. That means when you like exceed expectations, that it, you're right. just gonna it's be just, like, my like look at me. Sexy. I stood there for thirty seven percent of it. I just, I just <laughs> can already picture like blood drain from mm. face, like it, having a juice box in his hand to like keep the blood sugar up and just. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. <laughs> You, you got babe, this. it's gonna be okay. You can do this. The doctor leaves you to tend to me. Yeah. <laughs> we actually did have a doula who I I I wanted nothing to do with like her honey sticks and and lavender and breathing exercises. Yes. Yeah. But but Ned was like, oh, I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah honey sticks. At one point, she got yeah. me a juice box. Oh, like, so the, oh, so yeah, it the was juice a Gatorade. Yeah. 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 Electrolytes got to keep them up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I mean, Dad's working too. I was sweating. Whew. Hard work. As Ned yeah. said, successfully birthed child. From uh -huh. balls. Yeah, uh -huh. from balls. From, from balls. balls. Yeah. <laughs> from from balls to child. Right. Like, mm -hmm. it, so every time you look at Wes, you think, you came from my balls. No. Uh, <laughs> but have you thought about it once? Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Right. I mean, yeah. Oh my God, wait. The so The fact that every time, I mean, that's happened a lot, uh, you know, of like masturbating or whatever, like those are little potential babies whoa whoa blows your mind don't ruin masturbation have you ever yeah i was gonna say <laughs> does that ever occur to you it didn't used to well not until ned went and ruined it i don't mean to ruin it it's a it's a pretty awesome thing right you just the had fact like that you can do that over and over six thousand wesleys <laughs> each time on the yeah but what happens if, if like you know you you should have like two or three rounds ago that was the good kid and then the time that you actually can see that kid sucks. That, well, that's what they said. They just have sex all the time. Right. Right. So you you, you never know which one's the good one. Right. You never. Yeah. Know. You, just, you just hope that it's the one that hit the egg. You never know. Right. So Maggie the other day showed me um, this. Why he's having a little brother? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Try number two. <laughs> <laughs> so Maggie showed me um, this collage image that a fan made of. If all of the Try Guys wives and significant others, what their kids would look like. Saw that. Uh, Wes, no way. at like 20, was the hottest of all the kids. He's no beautiful. offense to the other Damn. children that I saw in the photos. He's beautiful. Okay. You I know. know what? I'm not going to lie. Eugene and Matt's kid, next best looking. Gorgeous. Oh my God, gorgeous. Mm. Gorgeous. But, but, uh, Wes, at uh, whatever the depiction of that was through morphing of faces, Wow. Very good looking. Wow. They did Zach and Maggie's like, daughter dirty. They did Zach like and Maggie's daughter dirty. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, so so bad. Everything is so bad. Yeah. Oh, just look in your... Who, oh. What's the like, celebrity look like for young Wes? You. Oh. Me. Wow. You know, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> have you. Have you ever seen Reese Witherspoon's kid? No. Oh, yes. Reese Witherspoon yes. and Ryan Felipe had uh -huh. boys. And so they have like a teenage boy and... I actually looked at this 
morph of of Wes, your kid, and uh, and I thought that looks just like Reese Witherspoon. I mean, you kid. have a lot of Reese Witherspoon facial. Oh, quality. there it is. There it is. Oh wow! Oh weird! Oh, that's young Wesley. That's yeah. That's Wesley. Oh, he's handsome. Yeah, what a stud. Oh, he's got like handsome he's got boy. Your, like, sort of reddish hair. I know. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, you're so right. Reese Witherspoon's kid. That's though. Maggie's kid. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's no. tough. That's, that's oh, tough. No. That's not accurate. I, know. I mean, they're cute. they're cute. They're cute. Mm-hmm. They're cute. That's, they're that's, cute. That's, that poor girl's going through a phase. Yeah, but your offspring definitely took the cake for yeah. sure. Yeah, well, young Wes is going to give you some hell. Uh, turn 16, 17 for sure. Oh, that. You're, you're telling yeah. me. I mean, mm-hmm. my God, we're going to have two boys in that house. Yeah. I swear, we'll just the, the amount of like... Introduce him to Uncle Jeremy, talk about double bagging it. Oh! Other <laughs> the amount of, of pubic bagging. hair and just like things going on. Like Ned tells me stories sometimes of him as like an adolescent and I'm like, you did what? You mean my ho- my ho phase? N- no, or no. I'm, me as a I was 17 talking, year old. I was talking about your, um, your vacuum phase. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Uh-huh. I masturbated into a vacuum one time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and, and it's not that I don't it's just think experimenting. That, you know, you're trying like to very American trying pie to figure of you. out, yeah, uh, yeah, try to figure out things that you like Did and didn't like it. Well, you know, the suction was on. Yeah, well, that was the point, right? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm so surprised that didn't end in an ER trip for you. Yeah, I, there I are think, a lot of yeah. things that I feel like uh, could have yeah. ended up in yeah. an yeah. ER. Yeah. Trip. That sounds like a physical yeah, trauma yeah, for when sure. You're 17. And just to confirm, wouldn't do again. Hmm? Wouldn't do that no. again. No, okay. it's probably dangerous. Yeah, I mean, it's like the quote in Bridesmaids, where the mom of three boys is just like, "There's come everywhere. <laughs> I can't fold any of my blankets without crinkling them." <laughs> oh, it's so true. It's gonna be us in fifteen years. Aren't That's you right. excited? Two boys. Yeah. A little excited. Yeah. And I mean, not for the like, you know, the, the cum blankets, right. but I mean, <laughs> excited. Parenthood. For- Come blankets. <laughs> they go hand in hand. Yeah. And Wes and I have a great time running around kicking the soccer ball. I just oh, imagine yeah. that with like these more. kids. Two of them. I yeah. yeah, I mean I I have to imagine the best. You know, I have to imagine like two just angel beautiful angel yeah. boys yeah. who do their homework and then they go outside and play soccer. You know That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> that's yeah. what's gonna happen. It's not gonna be them playing video games and masturbating in their just room. Screaming and at then I'm like Dinner! To try and tell them to <laughs> and take like, video games. Fine. <laughs> I mean, we talk about it all the time on our podcast, just like the timeline shift of how mature and how much information is given to kids. Right. Mm-hmm. 13, Absolutely. 12, 11, 10. I'm like, what you know what? Oh, I did not know that. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. I'm, they're, they're they, not they gonna, have they're limitless not information at limitless. their fingertips. Yes. They're not going to get internet or phone. I mean, we had family computers until we were in college, right? Us too. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. if you looked at something on the computer, Everyone you were it. in the, the middle of everything. Well, I had a uh, dial up, so we weren't getting very good um, uh, download speed anyway. But yeah, fair. Uh, I was I was a little ninja. For sure, I could cover my tracks. Oh yeah. shoot! I yeah, mean, yeah. like my covering my tracks just went as far as like deleting history. I don't even think I deleted. I we were in the middle of the living room, like oh, so, oh. so like I didn't right, even the, the screen facing like towards everyone. Yeah, right. yeah, mm. yeah. So what what am I gonna be? I'm like I'm like uh, AOL you wait chatting till with everyone my friends. Goes out of the house for some reason. And that's when the vacuum yes. cleaner comes, comes out. out. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's just you're still like in the middle of the living room. Yeah, it's awkward. Yeah. yeah, things are different now. Things are things definitely are, different. What now. I am so uncomfortable about is our bedroom door like doesn't really lock properly, and they every morning Wes just like barges in. They installed it incorrectly, and, just, and like, it doesn't have a lock. It, what's gonna happen if you just some evening decides like, oh, I'd, I'd like a drink of water, and that walks was in on something us. that we thought about when we got his toddler bed because now he can get out of his bed he get, he walks out of his room just gonna get worse the older he's he on the move. Our room. yeah he's on the move now well maybe th- maybe it's like a, one of those combination locks or whatever on the inside that's smart maybe you just send him the calendar invite at the same time and say this is mommy yeah. daddy time this right is- right right so, actually do not schedule right right <laughs> The old DNS. Once again, <laughs> mom and dad do not listen to this, but I remember the uh, oh, no. the the first time that I saw my parents having sex. 
No! 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 I was I I was like I have been blessed to never have that I was like 14. I was like 14, but um my parents had this huge walk-in shower in their master bath and the entire family used it because it was the best shower. It was the best yeah. shower. Yeah. It was a like, water pressure. Why, it makes why so much sense use, the time as a kid. Why would you use this one? Why mm-hmm. would you use your own shower if you could use like this enormous, like this huge shower and all of our like bath products were in there and so it, it was just obvious. So I come home from school one day and I'm like, oh, I need to take a shower. And so I go up to my parents' room and their door is locked and I was like, that's weird. And we had those door locks that you could, you know, you just pop them. Pick. And so I went, I went and I got a mechanical pencil and I, you know, oh opened it God. up all the way and I just went, <laughs> Oh my God. And I opened up the door and I closed it immediately. I was like, <sighs> no, what's happening? My dad had just gotten home from a business trip. You know, it, it was the middle of the day. I, I yeah. Oh no. no. It did not even, I was probably like 13, 14. It did God. not even occur to me. Did not even occur to me that why their bedroom door was locked. Oh. Uh, it's probably the same thing. If he, he's, he's, he's going to like try to unlock the door and he's going to be like, why is this door locked? <laughs> Ned's gonna have like a, a a three or four way authentication like right. biometric yeah. thing that like shuts scan. down on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, but that kid is smart. He's gonna learn to pick those locks. Oh yeah, immediately. Yeah. Sometimes immediately. I'll be I'll well, be just going to the bathroom, just like taking a poop or whatever, and Jeremy will a what? just taking a poop. Pick the lock, and he'll pick the lock and be like, "Hello, what's for dinner?" Like, <laughs> just open up the door. Like, excuse <laughs> me, like, hello. I'm just putting bad karma out into the world for when we have a kid I know, who's I was like, gonna say, the karma oh, yeah. wait, for you." My my only question I have is. Did you acknowledge it to your parents that you saw, or was or it never, never spoken of? Or you never speak about it? Mm. I honestly don't remember. Like, what? Did, how did they act too? Yeah, just blocked it out. Yeah, I have it out. blocked yeah. it out. I, I, I don't think that they saw me. I think I don't think that they. I mean, maybe they did. Maybe they did. But it was Do such a. Do you know if they have subscribed? It was such a quick. <laughs> it was such a quick. Just like I, I, I pop the lock. I open the door. I see what's going on. Mom and dad were wrestling. I closed the door. <laughs> right. <laughs> I closed the door, freaked out, and and I never spoke of it. You know, and I don't so I feel like my mom and I are very open with each other, so I feel like if they did see me, they would have it could have turned into like a sex talk or something right. educational. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's I, the most un- like the premeditated sex God. talk. That's the most uncomfortable one. Yeah. Yeah. Like like isn't that they all? sit you down and they're like it's right. time isn't that all sex talk yeah that's what my sex talk like was. I said I haven't had the sex talk yet oh, so wow. I don't really know how it works oh man yeah, yeah mine was yeah. very premeditated we mine was very there were supportive right. supporting yeah. materials well, mine too I had like a, books, we had a book yeah. 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 yeah as a born again oh, virgin boy. no idea yeah I love that for us it is great it is great so baby number two comes out you're you're clear for sex right how I mean, how we talking weekly? We talking daily again? What? How back in the the newborn phase? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I feel like it was a weekly. Yeah, weekly. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like once once you pass the newborn phase, then you're you know back to like every other day type of thing. But, but you're also you know, just so damn. tired. Yeah, it's, it's good for them. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> Yeah. I do. You know, I was like, holy shit, they have a kid and they're having sex every other day. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same here. Same here. something that we have discussed with friends where like some of, like, yeah. I think that you were talking to one of your friends and they were like, yeah, you know, maybe once a week or something like that. And you're like, oh, are you guys okay? Like, Whoa. <laughs> like, is everything all right with your relationship? And they're like, yeah, we're great. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go, no, no. Oh, no. No, no, no I just, I just, um, uh, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think as long as your sex drives are matched, then you're good. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Back to the, back to the difference between like the first pregnancy and the second pregnancy. In the first pregnancy, I, I was not like emotionally, psychologically prepared for the changes that my body was going to go through, you know? And so I had these, these these like feelings about how my body was changing and how I was getting heavier and like you know oh my bump isn't cute like on on like social media there's all these women who the hot I, mommy bloggers yeah yeah you know and and, mm-hmm. and so I I had I had this this vision of what my body was going to look like when it was pregnant 
and then what it actually looked like, which, you know, it's, it's, it's a miracle what women can do, but it's not easy when you're, you know, going through those physical changes and you don't feel sexy. Like you don't, there, you, I literally can't even imagine like I eat a bowl of pasta and feel bloated and look three months pregnant and I'm like don't look at me don't come near me <laughs> yeah. don't touch me with a 10 foot pole like you know what I mean so it's like I, I genuinely think that I'm gonna struggle with that I mean one bowl of ramen is like a three day <laughs> a three day <laughs> oh my god <laughs> terrible. my body and it. sodium is it's just it's just not it's just not it and I look and feel pregnant no with a ramen baby nope. <laughs> no no with I'm, a ramen I'm baby i'm sure no. you do not feel pregnant? <laughs> i'm sure you do not think you feel pregnant <laughs> no, no 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 no. don't feel pregnant look pregnant i mean the mind is a very powerful thing mm. and i That's can't true. imagine just the added pressure now of not only are you pregnant but now you have to look how you think you should look while you are pregnant exactly okay, and uh with the first pregnancy there was sort of this um this like social pressure where we hadn't told anybody yet mm -hmm. or, or at least we hadn't uh, made it like uh we hadn't put ourselves out there on social media mm -hmm. and so i am still feeling the pressure to post mm -hmm. pictures to of look myself like not pregnant and to look not pregnant oh, you know to look like how she used to look mm -hmm. and so there was While this starting to become slightly pregnant and that can be very uncomfortable especially mm -hmm. the first trimester or the first like half of pregnancy it, it you know in your first pregnancy especially you don't look pregnant you just feel icky right and and you feel bloated and that's it it, it was not a good feeling yeah. for me because you know usually i do have a pretty good libido and and like the hormones are different and you feel nauseous you just don't feel good you know and usually in the second trimester a lot of those kind of nausea and feelings start to like wear off you start to look more pregnant so you can kind of like feel it a mm -hmm. little bit better but that, uh, but yeah that's that's a big difference about sex first trimester versus sex second trimester interesting mm -hmm. but this time i knew what to expect i i knew that that first trimester was going to be really you know psychologically difficult because your body just looks different and it you and you know i just you just don't feel good and and so you know, and Ned knew too at that point. Mm -hmm. So he's like, you know, very supportive and like, I love those sweatpants on you, babe. Like you're, you're really rocking those, you know, like, yeah, eat the cookies. I, mean, I like, you're doing she, great. I don't think she looks hot no matter what. It's true. You're so I probably say it too much. <laughs> <laughs> But you could probably say it more too. But. You could probably say it more. <laughs> you could definitely say it more. Uh, but, you know, and I I lowered my expectations this time and uh, just like found found like beauty just in the fact that I that my body was able to do it again. You know, and part mm -hmm. of that was the fact that we did go through a miscarriage and mm -hmm. and and so I'm like grateful that my body can do it again. Mm -hmm. Right. Um you know, but the first time it all happened so fast and we took so much for granted. We really did. I took my body for granted. I, you know, I was, I was angry with my body for like changing and, and like doing things that I didn't want it to be doing. And, you know, th there was a lot of like, I don't know, personal, uh, just angst going on that, that really makes it not easy to have sex. Uh, emotionally yeah. you, you just really can't you couldn't i could not wrap my head around it so it's like having a ramen baby all the time right <laughs> yeah but so i mean for the people that have never had a baby or aren't even thinking about it, like how do you prep from that from both perspectives because i feel like ned knocked it out of the park good work but for someone <laughs> who hasn't you know come to that space yeah like you need a special type of support that might change hourly what would your advice be to people who are looking that in the face, knowing that's coming up? That's a really good question. And I think that the biggest thing for me was just having your support. Yeah, I think it's like about keeping the lines of communication open to kind of talk about how you're feeling. Cause I don't think there's any way you can prepare for it. Like people talk about like, oh, we'll wait to have a baby until we're ready. Like. Right. You're never ready. Bitch, you are never ready. <laughs> 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 like, there's no way. Right. It's just so such a difference in like it's just a total paradigm shift in our lives. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can prepare for that. You just you don't even know what you to prepare for. Yeah. And you can't just say like, 
well, you know, you're going to have to get a babysitter to go out to dinner or someone be like, hmm, okay, I can kind of understand. Like, it's just, there's so many things. Right. But uh, being able to continually talk about it with each other, that was like the biggest thing. I think too, if there was like, if you were feeling shitty for that first trimester too and you don't feel good mentally, physically, and if you didn't have a supportive partner, I think that'd be super stressful too because if you're like, thinking about the pressure and expectation of like keeping a regular sex life, oh, yeah. even though you're yeah. not looking pregnant, like the added stress of that, if you had someone that was like, not like great sweatpants, babe, and yeah. eat those cookies. So everyone needs a net fulmer. Well, I, I think that everyone just needs to have a partner that understands what you're going through. Right. You know, and that- And to, and to not like pressure you to do something that you're not into. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, like when it comes to sex, like you have to, as a partner, you are not going to understand what they're going through. So you have to like, you know, not, not like pressure them to have right. sex. Not be like, Hey, want. it's been, a, it's been right. like 10 days. Mm-hmm. I mean, it sounds much more like a EQ is way more important than IQ. It doesn't matter how many books you read on yeah. this and that. Yeah. It's like, so. are you reading the room? My guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my guy. <laughs> Absolutely. What, what do you guys imagine that it's going to be like? I mean, do, do you, uh-huh. have you ever, do you give thought to that or like, what do you kind of? Uh, I mean, we're both on the same page in the sense of like a a kid. We, so we were both only children. <laughs> oh. So we, neither of us had siblings. So yeah, we right. both are like very set on the idea of one. Really? Sure. Yeah. And I'm okay. excited about the idea of like I was adopted. My mother was adopted. It's just like a, a, a everyone has like a disjointed family that worked out in the end. But like the thought of having a kid that is my own is very exciting. Mm-hmm. The thought of having two kids is less exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh, but one kid for sure. Yeah, I think we like the idea of one. And honestly, too, it might be something that's like, have one, see how it goes, see how we feel. Yeah. I just never want to be outnumbered. That's always been like mm-hmm. my thing. Is that like, especially even like having our dog moose. It's like if you have a moose and a child, that's that's a one to one ratio. I can of, pick both of those up. Right, right, right. right, right. Mm-hmm. Like in an earthquake, you know, you can yeah. grab one under each arm and go. But it's like, I'd also then have to grab you too. Right. Oh my God. Yeah. Right. That's fair. I, I really well, did you terrible. Grab moose moose. And the child. No, Lauren no, 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 no. You. I, in an earthquake, I sit <laughs> there no, and I don't. freeze and I go, earthquake. That's and actually I the sit s- there. best thing that you can do. No, no, no. Yeah. Jeremy was like, get under the table. Get under the table. Yeah, get the dog and go under the table. Well, yeah, and that's, I sit that's there. That's great too. But what you're not supposed to do is like freak out and start running. Yeah. Right. Apparently, or a lot of people like going do that. outside or like running yeah. between doorways or whatever. <laughs> Most injuries happen <laughs> when you're trying to run because they're not that long. No. no so if you're like, ah, earthquake, and you start running across the room, you chip. Yeah, yeah. And that's I it. do a really great job of just sitting there. So oh, I great. think I think the goal is to be an equal ratio of dependence to dependence to adults. Mm. Nice. I am um, <laughs> my fear with you. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. This is really good. <laughs> I mean, Lauren's Lauren's mind is very powerful and very strong, mm. and it is her best friend or worst enemy. Mm. And that relates to physical, I'm a emotional, big time mental. hypochondriac and also extremely anxious. And also I, I'm going to like, I have a metaphobia, which means like I'm really scared of throwing up. Oh. And so yeah. like the idea of being morning sick for oh. the so first trimester. I, yeah. I was just nauseous. I actually never threw up. Uh, so like there are some women who, you know, have it terrible right and they're throwing up every day they're throwing up you know multiple times sounds daily. like that even the nausea would make you very oh. even uncomfortable the nausea, the yeah thought that you might throw up. there was right, a mushroom exactly like that. that she ate three days ago <laughs> that <laughs> might have been bad and here we are She's today still thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. it was a couple xanaxes later it really took me a couple days to get past <laughs> it <laughs> i don't know if you can pop a, can you pop a xanax when you're pregnant though? can you take Probably xanax not. when you're pregnant <gasps> there, there, there says are no. certain medications that you can take okay. so you know like Pregnant women kind of have to work with their doctor right. to make sure that they can stay on whatever they need right. to stay on. Right, right, right. And th- so there are certain things that you can take, but uh, um, there are many things that you cannot take. There are things you can't mm. eat. There are no. things you can't do. But I'll be able to take a Xanax when she's freaking out, right? Absolutely. Yeah, right. Okay, because like Absolutely. you just did it with your balls. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, my right, job's right. done. Your, your job's done. <laughs> yeah, I'm over. Job's done. Minus the sweatpants and the cookies. <laughs> talk to me, talk motivation. To me you know, I'll be wearing the gray sweatpants, of course. Right, You're right, more right, like right. You. you know. Right. Yes. Yeah, you know, executive producing. Right. The, the rest right. of the pregnancy. Yeah. That's a great way to put it. Can I get talent water? Okay, got it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sparkling okay, just let me know if you need anything, okay? Yeah. All, All right. right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So good that you guys are here. <laughs> but yeah, I, that's the, the thing that scares me the most. I think that your your head is um, a very, very, very powerful thing, and mm-hmm. it will either make you feel beautiful and amazing that day or mm-hmm. not. 
<clears throat> mm-hmm. What do you imagine like sex after pregnant or having a baby? What do you imagine like a crime scene? Our sex life is like. <laughs> oh my scene. god, Jeremy. Oh my no, god. Really? <laughs> just blood everywhere. Just, like, just caution tape. I'm not sure what I um expect. Yeah, I, I don't think that's something that we've actually thought about because it's like it's more thinking about like we haven't even gotten there. We think about like having a kid and like how that would like mm-hmm. shift everything, but I feel like we haven't even thought about that before. Yeah, I, but also, how do you prepare for that? Yeah, how do you prepare for that? Mm. My mom. You, you we didn't. You don't. You right. Don't. We. I don't <laughs> recall thinking about it before we had a kid, and right. then after it's like, oh, well, this is different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome back. I feel like he's staring at me from across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my mom worked out um, her entire pregnancy while she had me. So she was like one of those buff little her, yeah. ladies while having like- With her like very cute little buff. Her very like taut Volleyball stomach. bump. Uh-huh. Yes, like Six a little pack on top of it. Yeah. Six pack on top. Yeah. And so she bounced back super quick. And that's not a question I feel like I would ever ask her to be like, so how was it afterwards? But she, she, she would probably be like, oh, it's great. I don't think I want to know even. You know, mm-hmm. I, like, I don't even know if that's like a question that I'd like to open the dialogue up to. But I do, I do feel like her staying in like tip top physical health probably made a big difference. Oh, I'm sure, yeah, absolutely. But I mean, that helps whether you're pregnant or not. We, like our sex life is zero to hundred when we get off the couch and actually do something physically. When Jeremy is mm-hmm. just like eating weed gummies and not I working said, out. Knows how I said we, and she goes, "When Jeremy." <laughs> 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 I said we. That's okay. Hop on <laughs> we go through phases of who has a higher libido, and currently, I would say it's mine. <laughs> Not me. Um. <laughs> Jeremy, because of Zach, he's discovered these like weed sodas that are mm-hmm. delicious mm-hmm. and I've mostly CBD. Yeah, big fan of them. And so yeah. Jeremy and his weed gummies and his weed pops are just, it's just, he's a mush on the couch. And you're uh, like, hey, <laughs> what's up? And he's like, and I'm like, mm. eh? eh? Yeah, Lauren does like, that. think sex tonight? <laughs> sex tonight? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Let me finish uh-huh, his emails. Uh-huh, just... uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> Well, I, but what am I hearing from you is um, there's uh, nothing you can read. There's no way to fully prepare. Mm-hmm. And um, you're mm-hmm. going to mm-hmm. have Except to. Except for this podcast, of course. So All right. Stay tuned. Next like, week. subscribe, follow, <laughs> uh, engage with. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, and so I know it's too early to ask, but would there ever be a third? That's a great question. Uh, so this pregnancy has been pretty tough on my body. Yeah. That's, that's another difference between first one and second one with the first one i i felt like everything was a little bit easier it was like tighter and i didn't have to mm. pee as much and you know i was i was chatting with my doctor about this and i was like sarah i, I swear it's like it's like he's hanging lower and it's like harder to hold him up and she's like well that's because your your muscles haven't like come back you know right. so so now i'm thinking every time it's going to get harder and harder and harder to like bring it back or like hold it up I, so but isn't it crazy what your mind's doing too like obviously your body but like now your mind's like i remember what it feels like before and it's not doing that and now it's not that. Yeah. and you can probably just sit Do there and think about that too yeah i'm scared of your mind already oh yeah me i'm too. i'm yeah, scared yeah. of this yeah mm-hmm. yep wow I mean, it's, we've it's, always talked about it as like two or three kids is our goal so we'll kind of yeah. like see We'll see. See how we feel. You would have a we'll soccer see how, team. Like, labor yeah. goals. <laughs> we, have soccer, we could have yeah, a soccer right. team. That's yeah. Right. And but I think now that it's two boys, that's something we talked about. We're like, oh, well, no, we really do kind of Could kind of try for a girl. But then there's a, a possi- there's a possibility. There's a good three possibility. Boys. We three, three boys. <laughs> Add being in there and you're be so cool. outnumbered. Think about how cute fun. the Christmas photos are. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Four little bow ties. Can you imagine? <laughs> I I would be I would be outnumbered. Like it would be so all boys in this house. I'd be like, go take the photo with just you guys. So you know, oh, I know. What? I I just I, no I no. That everyone loves their mom. I know. Uh, boys true. love boys, their mom boys, yeah, so much. Their Boy, yeah, boys love yeah. their mothers. They'll be adored. At, by at all that of point, your at, boys. At that point, I'm just like Bean. I'm just there to provide like sustenance and. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> we have three boys in the house. I can't yeah, imagine. Four or five scale. beans a boy. That We would have five. The crunchy like towels that you would have in your the house? The crunchy towels, the, the I mean, they're just dirt. called towels at that point because yeah. they're I all mean, crunchy. Mm. We, <laughs> yeah, seriously. I would, I would like reach for a towel when I get out of the shower and I'm just like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and so Wes is three, right? Two. Two, like two and, and a half. half. Two and a half. Yeah. And so three... 
starting to do the alphabet, starting to talk back, oh, he, I'm sure. He knows his alphabet. Oh, yeah. uh, he knows his numbers. I mean, it, he actually he, surprised he said, us the other day. Yeah, it's like we've been reading him these alphabet books for so long, and they suddenly just like busted out <laughs> R-S-T umbrella. <laughs> That's a win in my like, book. Yeah, so that's a cute. win. He doesn't say you. He says like the word that he thinks it's but related also to. Also now, um, if he doesn't feel like wearing his pants, he can <laughs> pull his pants off Isn't of his nice? own volition. There are many things that yeah. he can you do gotta, himself. Like, he's independent now. You yes. have to make it like yeah. his idea now. And the other day, uh, so he he has gotten into LaCroix. He really oh likes my God, spicy yeah. water. Spicy that water. Is and the most city I know. Two and a half year old I've ever heard and, of. And we yeah. keep them we keep them out in the the guest house fridge. And um and so the, the other morning, Wes is just like, go get spicy water. And he opens up the back door. You guys know we have that like big op- like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, accordion yeah. door. So he opens up the back door, he pushes it, he walks outside in his PJs, no shoes. You know, he's just Boy like, just got LaCroix all by himself. And he goes out to the guest I've house, never been more proud. opens opens up the refrigerator out there, grabs a LaCroix, pops it, <gasps> and it's just like <laughs> spicy and then on Sunday I mean, he could have just as easily grabbed a white claw right of like, course <laughs> yeah no I put the white claw on a higher shelf after that dad <laughs> of the year mm-hmm. I mean I looked he, he did the same thing to me this morning and like I'm like okay grab the pink one grab the pink one not that one not that one you know that's mommy we've got, juice we've got like yeah. we've got a box of LaCroix we've got a box of beer we you know right. it's yeah. Like, yeah. yeah he could have I mean I was like oh are we just like it's gonna. We're just like we're teaching him, like sitting on the couch drinking beer, watching football. <laughs> is, uh, Ned's dream. One of Daddy's favorite things to do. Uh, but it's true. It's like we were sitting on the couch drinking beer, watching football. I was wearing a Gardner Minshew one five jersey. He has a little Mahomes jersey, who's also fifteen. So and then he says, adorable. Daddy, Daddy, Wesley one five. I was like, Oh, you're right. We need to get your jersey. And he's like, Daddy won five, Wesley won five. I'm right. Uh, I'm like, yes, that's right, Wesley. That's adorable. Two that's... equally similar players. But now they, like, they have to be able to like know the alphabet and like write their name before they even go to like preschool and kindergarten now, right? You know, they're... Just potty training is the minimum, but... Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> you, you really don't, <laughs> don't need to do pee much on yourself. before preschool. Got it. We expected none of this from him at this point. Right. Like, his job right now is to play and be naked and be free, you know, like mm-hmm. that's all like that, half of my job. All that, we are, <laughs> all that we are asking of him is not to pee in his pants. You know, that is yeah. that is the only mm-hmm. thing One that goal. we are asking. Yeah. Very right? similar for our dog. Right. Um, exactly. yeah. Don't and, be on the couch. And he's doing awesome. And then like we put up this poster the other day that had the, like the cute ABCs on it. And he walks up and he goes, R S T umbrella. And we were like, he's a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's a genius. He's a genius. Really <laughs> Call Harvard. Call, Call them now. <laughs> That's well, adorable. Fuck Harvard. Uh, it'll be, oh, oh. <laughs> First F bomb of the podcast. <laughs> <towards> the <laughs> <Ivy League school. laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Got it. I mean, that's so adorable. Yeah. That, like now the little one has another one to look up to. I know. I'm sure he'll be like the idol. Wait, so how does so. West, does West, do you think he understands what's happening? Okay, I think, I didn't think that he did maybe four months ago, uh-huh. but now that the nursery is kind of ready, because we've, we have we switched his room yeah. from the nursery to, to his big boy room, mm. and we've been talking about it, and we talk about how there's a baby in there, and we talk about how we're mm-hmm. gonna take care of the baby when the baby comes. Mm-hmm. We say, this is the baby's toys. You know, these are your toys. You are- said, Wesley want family. And Shut he talks the fuck up this right my now. Daddy. That's so cute. <laughs> he he's he's gr- he's totally grasping the concept. And there are times when like w- when like we will be looking at my belly, and he'll be like, "Wesley, read to baby." <gasps> oh, and I'm my like, God. "Yeah, let's read to the baby, bud." <laughs> yeah, and he'll and, uh-huh. and he'll be like, "Wesley, kiss baby," mm-hmm. and he'll he'll like kiss my belly, and I'm like, "Oh, we're gonna be fine. Yeah. This is gonna we're, be fine. We're gonna be fine." <laughs> No. Lots to look forward to. But like to. before, he had absolutely no idea. He was like, right. baby. Like what right. is once this? there's like a second bed, a mm-hmm. second set of toys. Exactly. Yeah, that's, but like that's a hard concept for a little kid to grasp. Something that doesn't, there's, it's not able to be seen, right. yet it exists and right. it's growing. Right, right, right. And also too, like for his first instinct to be excited about it and to already love the baby, like that's so sweet. I yeah. know, because he's not very good at sharing. Yeah. He's well, terrible at sharing. Well, once it comes out and he's a little tyrant about it, then we'll, we'll look yeah, back yeah. and just go, that would have yeah. been sweet. <laughs> yeah. Right now, so he and Bean are like brothers. Oh, yeah. They oh. Fight I let like Bean brothers. out of his crate and Wesley said, no. <laughs> 
Bean stink. <laughs> or like Bean goes outside to poop and then comes back and Wesley's like, Bean stay outside. <laughs> they're so mean to each other. Like Wes will go over to where Bean is sitting and he'll just whack the couch and Bean will go. <gasps> And, and we're like Wesley. He doesn't. He doesn't hit Bean. He just hits near Bean. Yeah. Right. And then Bean will look at him and be like, mm-hmm. trying to nip. I was button. here first. Yeah. Yeah. I literally. We're like, I'm that the first is Bean's child. corner. Don't do that. How many weeks? Uh, we we're at you're thirty. Thirty weeks, now. weeks, and uh, your baby is as big as a bunch of broccoli. Wow. A what? Bunch Wait. Of hang broccoli. on. Mm-hmm. The broccoli that we get is very large. I feel like maybe organic broccoli. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Probably this About big. that big. Oh, that's big. And your baby's brain is beginning to wrinkle. Baby's hands are fully formed and their fingernails are growing. The might they might even like grab their feet. And they're kicking, which definitely uh, they are. We we definitely know. Can that. confirm. Yep. Can, yep. can yep. confirm. This one is way more active. Uh all right, well, thanks for that. Yes, and, you're welcome. And uh Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for being here. Be sure to check out Lauren and Jeremy's podcast, Wild Till Nine, available everywhere podcasts can be found. Yeah, maybe a a little bit different subject matter. Um, But actually, a lot of the same for this one. A lot of the same. A lot of the same for this Mm -hmm. one. This one was a a departure for us, I feel like. Um, (laughs) We got in there. So, so, you know, if if this wasn't your cup of tea, come back next week. It'll be a little different. Um, (laughs) But, you know, we like having you guys on. Well, thank I, you for inviting I learned us. so much. And I will say that the big piece is Wesley did get a feature last week in our, our podcast when we were talking about yeah. babies and them potentially looking a little bit more like aliens. The one exception? Wesley. Then he looks good. Oh, wow. Wesley's yeah. cute. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. wow. That's beautiful. He did have certain alien tendencies right in the very beginning, I don't believe though. It. I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys Most are amazing. Of them look like a torpedo when they come out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're we're five stars on the uh, <laughs> podcast. Uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next Sunday. <laughs> bye bye.